the bloody battle for Guadalcanal continues. Our forces on the island now significantly outweigh the Japanese forces, although we are not sure when Japanese resistance on the island will be crushed. Despite this, however, preparations are already underway to get an airfield set up once the island is secured. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Sea series playing as the United States. It is currently August 15th in the middle of the night, and things are all quiet. A lot of our task forces are heading back to the New Hebrides, like Task Force 1 here, which has uh, quite a lot of damage and needs to be rearmed. We have Task Force 17, which is really uh, our transport convoy. I do plan on getting a tanker, so that way we can start funneling the fuel and engineering supply we need to Rental Island to construct an airfield on Guadalcanal once that is secured. Um, I mean, the balance of power is overwhelmingly in our favor at this point. I would be surprised if I have to resupply the island at this stage. However, the Japanese may land a significant force on the island. I'm not sure how fast we'll capture the island with this mod, but we'll see. I hope we capture it soon, honestly. And other than that, our Dauntlesses that did that night raid on the Japanese battleship are heading back home. We'll see if that task force continues to chug up towards Port Moresby and maybe bombard it. Um, everyone's flying home. Everything's looking pretty... Oh, here we go. I thought so. All right, there's that battleship. She's pretty heavily damaged. And previously, whenever we damaged the battleship, they did not actually bombard the port. Let's see if that's been fixed. Uh, let's continue to check everything. A lot of our scouts are heading home, of course, as it is the middle of the night. A drum roll, please. Let's see. All right, let's speed this up. Oh, they actually hit it and knocked it down a level. Did they? Or am I crazy? I think they did. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know. I can't check. But we have a level 3 port and a level 3 airfield now. I'm pretty sure that was knocked down. If I remember correctly, it was a level 4 airfield? Well, that's fine. Uh, I mean, it should have been knocked down anyway. I think we just get less B-17s. So we'll check that in the morning. Uh, but yeah, good job. Finally, their little mission... <laughs> paid off. I'm not even mad. Um, these guys. All right. But well, that's exciting. I'm guessing they're going to sail away now. Indeed, they are. We're going to try to hit this battleship in the morning. She is heavily damaged, so we may be able to finish her off if we can catch her. That is, of course, we're going to have these guys RTB. OK, well, that is the rundown. I will let you all know what happens nice and early in the morning. Alrighty folks, so it looks like our complement of Wildcats, Dauntlesses, and Avengers are all the same. However, we are down four B-17s, which is fine because I already made a house rule against using B-17s uh, in any offensive role. So uh, we're going to send our B-17s out to begin scouting for this battleship, just one, one at a time, no bombs or anything. Hopefully we can find it, and I may also launch Wildcats here just to search. Uh, we want to find this guy. Of course, these guys just made it back to the new uh, Hebrides, so we are going to release Indianapolis. Uh, what's, what's the button? Release and repair. There we go. Confirm. Sydney, one damage. Her funnel's damaged. Hmm. Is that enough damage to release her? We only get half of our command points back for releasing a ship, so I may keep Sydney if that's all she has damaged. Just has one torpedo damage, no flooding. It's just a destroyer. Let's release it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because the destroyer, I mean, it's just such a small amount of points. I'd rather... Okay, this is good. Um, let's get a few new ships. What do we want? I kind of want some more heavy cruisers. We're up to 50 command points. Uh, we are running low on heavy cruisers. Yeah, let's grab one. 22 points. We can grab two. Let's see what else we got. Wichita. Tennessee. How many points? Are just, oh, 60 points. Yeah, these are all new ships that were added um, with the Tokyo Express mod. South Dakota and North Carolina are 80 points a pop. Um, hmm. Let's just get a, uh, let's get a New Orleans. The Quincy. Why not? Done. That's 44 points. 
And we'll blow our last points on a destroyer. Venom. Yeah. All right, done. <laughs> okay, we will merge these guys. Now we can actually start fighting again. Merge groups. There we go. That's a pretty... I'm, I mean, that is a task force I would not want to tangle with. Okay, let's have them also rearm. Before I forget... It's always hard to remember. Rearm ships. All ships rearmed. Perfect. All right, head back up here. Okay, that's, I will reorganize them, but that's another good task force. And this one is okay, just a lot of destroyers. Their main job is funneling supplies, though. So now we have some heavy hitters in, uh, you know, in the area. Okay, well, I'm going to launch all of my scouts, and hopefully we can uh, reestablish contact on that battleship. Bingo, we got them. And let's see, let me drag all these around. New air. Dauntlesses, 347 nautical miles. Oh my gosh, that is cutting it super damn close. I don't think they're going to reach them, unfortunately, but we are going to... Oh, with one bomb? One 500-pound bomb, they can make it. All right, done. Of course, go get them. All right. Oh my gosh, this is... Okay, we're going to ignore this. New air. 12 Dauntlesses, armor-piercing bombs. Do I want to launch Avengers first? Yes. 252. Yes, they're good. They're slower. Done. Okay, go get them, and then we will wait to launch our Dauntlesses from uh, this airfield as well. Perfect. Oh boy, this is exciting. Well, we will form up, and I will see you all when we are about to just obliterate this battleship. <laughs> okay, just a brief update on the situation. Our Avengers did not have enough fuel to stay on station uh, before these Dauntlesses got arrived, unfortunately. But I'm grouping these two flights of Dauntlesses, so uh, we'll it's still a pretty heavy-hitting force, and hopefully they can attack at the same time. We also found the Japanese aircraft carrier. This is quite the meaty task force, however, I have nothing that can hit it besides B-17s, and like I said, uh, we have our own little rule against using those after sinking Yamato with a bunch of B-17s. It's kind of lame. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, I guess we're just gonna watch them. Um, harass them a little bit. Actually, it may be a, a good idea to get our Kingfisher out of there, but uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, I guess this is the exciting action for the day. Hopefully they will all group up here soon. Alrighty, folks. Everyone is in the area. Our Dauntlesses are here. Running low on fuel, but they are on station. Let's go to tactical. Oh, boy. Look at all of them. That is a beautiful start. And they should be up in front of us. Our B-17's here. Oh, she's behind. All right, you know what? What we're gonna do? These guys turn, head this way. There we go. All right, organize everyone into position. Geez, I just love seeing all the planes in the sky. It is super cool. Uh, we're probably gonna start receiving some anti-aircraft fire now. All right. All right, fellas, this is, it's a go time. Attack. Attack from various angles. Hopefully losses are minimal here. Our Dauntlesses seem to fare rather well. Even our Avengers have done rather well. We've not been getting shot down uh, a whole lot. Oh boy. This is quite the nasty flax screen we're going over. All right, pushing over. Go get them. And bombs away. All right, you just have actually one bomb. And 500 pounders. Wow, you all missed? There we go. Oh, brother, that is absolutely brutal. 
Now, if she survives this, I don't even know what to say. More bombs falling. Any more? I think that's everyone. Jeez. <laughs> and that is two Dauntless Strikes. You know, full-scale Dauntless Strikes uh, the ship has endured. I mean, that's a lot of direct hits. Some uh, semi-armor piercing and uh, quite a few armor piercing. And how many did we lose? Nobody. We did not lose a Dauntless? Wow. I'm impressed. And she is coming to a dead stop. I think she is done for. Get all of our aircraft scattering. Well, let's see if she sinks. Well, folks, here we have it. She is going down, as you can see. That is uh, mission accomplished. Let's retreat, leave combat. Sunk 32,000 tons, 19 command points, gained no losses. That is the most shocking part. We didn't even lose a single aircraft. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's, that's great. All right, guys, uh, you are good to RTB. We'll keep our B-17s out scouting. Uh, if we pick them up again, I mean, we can hit some of those light cruisers and destroyers, I suppose. No other Japanese fleet movements, though, for the time being. Just this carrier up to the north. These guys, everyone's still on track, looking good. I'm starting to sail my task forces further south of Rental Island just to kind of protect them from uh, enemy aircraft and prying eyes. Um, make them a little more, a little further away from, you know, where it's super hot. Um... Yeah, that's all I have for now. We'll see if we have any exciting updates. Holy crap. So we have our eight destroyers and one light cruiser. We have another battleship coming here. Another one. Are you... How many times do I got to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> you know? Like, what, what are they even thinking? Unfortunately, they're out of range uh, from this airfield. We'll just hit them with these Dauntlesses for the time being. But, wow. Like, what battleship will this be here? It's, it's interesting that the AI keeps choosing this mission. Like, is it really, like, in the grand scheme of things here, is it that important? Like, have they resupplied Guadalcanal once? That's what I want to know. But, whatever. All right. Uh, let's go to tactical. Start. Not the, you know, massive strike package we've gotten used to here. Oh, okay, this is one of the, uh, the ships added with the Tokyo Express mod. Look at that. Let's identify her real quick. Fortunately, my, my Japanese ship identification is uh, pretty pretty poor. What is this, like a... I want to say Fuso, and I'm probably going to sound like an idiot. Is that her? Hmm. Issei? Yeah, that looks more like her. Recognize. Oh, we got a target her. Oh, we haven't even seen her yet. That's a good looking model though. It looks pretty sweet. Honestly, better than the, a lot of the stock models. So yeah, that looks, that looks awesome. I don't know, like the Tokyo Express mod, it is for sure the way to play this game. It has made things significantly more enjoyable. All right, let's bomb this thing to smithereens though. I mean, it's a beautiful model, but I'm still gonna kill it. Uh, we'll see how tough she is. Oh man, that is that is awesome though. That looks so good. <laughs> All right, Dauntless is coming. At, um, make sure everyone's attacking, please. You guys are flying off into uh, nowhere. I'll see. Hopefully, we can get enough solid hits on her to slow her down and make them abort their mission. All right, coming in. We got one dot. Ooh, we lost one. I'm going down. Okay, a few hits. Honestly, that was 
underwhelming. There we go. There are a type of explosions I like to see. All right, more bombs coming in. Beautiful. Oh, wow, we lost two Dauntlesses already. Lots of direct hits here. We took a uh, semi armor piercing bombs because, oh, I figured out it was going after light cruisers. Oh, look here, we got a seaplane tender. I wonder where... Huh, interesting. The new ships are fun. All right, let's 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 identify this. Work on my Japanese... Uh, Chiyose? Chitose? Something like that. I've sunk these in Silent Hunter 4. <laughs> okay, very cool. Very cool indeed. I mean, look at all this, like, that's awesome. Um, is she damaged? Not really, she looks okay. No fire, she's still steaming at 18 nods. Unfortunately, I don't think we did all that much to her. We're gonna have to hit her again. That's okay though. I'm just excited to see new things. Yeah, she's, she's hunky-dory. All right, retreat, leave, confirm. Moderate damage, so yeah, nothing too wild. Okay, uh, we sent 15 aircraft, lost two. We will maintain contact, RTB, and we'll launch a proper strike here against her uh, soon, hopefully with Avengers. Well, Task Force 3 has encountered something. I have a feeling it's an enemy submarine. We'll go ahead and take her out. We're in a line ahead formation. Who's in the rear? Number seven, Chester is in the rear. Okay, that's fine. A uh, thousand yards apart, begin. Line ahead just makes everything so much easier uh, when invading these subs, so. All right, now we wait for the torpedo launch. Um, let's turn on radar just in case it actually, uh, <laughs> watch it be a bunch, of air a bunch of aircraft. There was that one time we were engaging an enemy sub and um, And uh, we were attacked by enemy aircraft. Let's just steam a little bit. Wait for that torpedo launch. If that's what's coming. Check the horizon. Make sure there's no Japanese warships out there. Torpedoes in the water. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. You gotta be, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Look at, <laughs> what? What? Okay. Uh, oh God, poor Chester. Dude, if these whip around and hit hit her, oh my gosh. We are. <laughs> wow. She is like right behind us, like point blank range. I wonder if it was a dud because the torpedo wasn't armed. Okay, we're gonna eat this, I think. We'll see. Is it gonna hit? Yeah, right in the ass. Oh man. Okay, get that repaired. That is that what that is insane. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh brother. Okay. Yeah, damage is pretty rough. Speed turning at like 20%. Looks like our rudder is, yeah, blacked out. Same with our props. She's going home. All right. All right, let's turn away. Wow, that was, that's interesting. Admittedly. Like, I, I find that fascinating, that how that happened. All right, let's start pinging. Unexpected. All right, let's start pinging here as well. And you guys need to increase speed and get the hell out of dodge. Alright. Okay, hold... Break off. Come on. 
These, these guys need to figure it out. Alright, going nice and slow. Looking for the Japanese submarine. Uh, um, is that her right there? Can I see her? I can see her. Alright, let's change course. Like over here. She's at periscope depth. Alright, head this way. Right there. Alright, Chester, what's cracking? Yeah, not not great. I'm wondering if I should keep her in the theater though. And this damage is pretty bad. Gosh, that it this sucks. What a place to get hit. Okay, everyone's pretty much out of the way. I don't think a uh, hole is at risk here. Uh-oh. Let's bring my favorite destroyer over here. Man, she... That that enemy sub is far. How fast are we going? 16 knots. We should be able to catch her. She's still at PD. She is way out there. All right. Let's prepare our charges. Two sets. Five seconds apart. How about that? Closing in on the target. Still at PD. I can't click on her or anything just yet. All right, Chester. How's it going? Speed's 18 knots. That's not bad. The turning effectiveness is extremely poor. If we get into a serious fight, that's going to be problematic. I'm going to have to keep her in the rear of our formations. I think I'll keep her here, though. Damn it, like, apparently it's just minor. The problem is that speed hit. Okay, the Japanese sub is right here. Let's slow down even more. Eight knots, bingo. Got her. Target her. Head this way. Oh, we lost contact. I can still see her, though. Drop speed even further. Alright. Oh, type B. Closing in for the kill. Lost contact? What? Let's turn off active. Any better luck? No. Interesting. That's okay, though. We'll slow down here momentarily. Target her. Okay, before we start going, uh, going crazy... Let's make sure everyone has fire at will turned off. Uh, auto gunnery, yeah, turn that off. And especially on Chester. <laughs> uh, we'll keep it on for these guys, just in case the enemy sub uh, decides to surface. Yeah, we don't want auto fire on Chester. It's a hazard for our poor little destroyers. Okay. Enemy subs going seven knots. She is still at PD. Oh no, she's dropping down now. All right, line ourselves up nicely. Rudder midships. Okay. All right, lost contact. Three, two, one, fire. We'll actually fire two more. I pressed that a little early. All right, two away. And. Wait a few seconds. All right, fire some more. There we go. It's our Japanese submarine friend. Yeah, it doesn't look good for your health. You know what? Fire some more. I haven't, I'm surprised that didn't cause damage. I think that might have there. Got a little bit of charring. Oh, yeah, she's all stopped. I mean, that's a lot of charges. These look good. Hmm, we'll see. She's dead in the water. Let's bring number two in. Change course here. Reduce speed to six knots. She's all stopped. Set up your charges. We'll do two. Okay, and you will swing around like so. Let's see if she tries to blow ballast. Is she coming up? No, she is sinking. Oh, she is coming up. 
Well, let's try to hit her. Let's try to hit her now before she actually hits the surface. Yeah, she, it looks like she's hanging out at 267 feet. Oh, she actually sank. Okay. Very cool. Before she actually came to the surface. Normally that doesn't happen. Uh, it's unexpected. Oh, there we go. One run. Perfect. All right. Retreat. Leave combat. There we go. Uh, excuse me, game. Can I, can I get any command points for that? It counted. <laughs> That's sad. Okay. Well, that's all right. Not a big deal. Um, we are going to launch this final strike here because I'm excited to do that before ending the episode. I don't think I can actually send my Avengers out just yet, unfortunately, but we have Dauntlesses from Australia and uh, Port Moresby here heading their way. Well, folks, not so great news here. Unfortunately, all of our B-17s had to go home. Uh, so we couldn't keep contact with the enemy surface fleet. We just reestablished contact, however, these Dauntlesses have to go home. And these are our heavy hitters with the 1,000 pound armor piercing bombs. So, hmm. New air, Avengers. Okay. We'll try to hit them with Avengers after this strike. I mean, Avengers will probably be going in by themselves, judging by the time. So that's probably going to be a bloodbath. We'll see. These guys just have 500 pound semi armor piercing bombs, so. Ugh. Maybe we'll start some fires, cause some damage. We're not going to sink her, though. There we go. Flying away. All right. Order everyone to engage. The battleship. She was in this spot last time. We'll triple check here in a second, though, just to see. All right. Turn around and engage. Yep, that's definitely her. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, what a shame we couldn't organize that complete strike. That's okay, though. You win some, you lose some. At least we're going to continue to damage her. And even if she bombards the port, I mean, she's getting sunk in the morning. <laughs> Regardless. So, maybe we can cause a magazine explosion or something. Wouldn't that be swell? All right, we're starting to take a whole slew of anti-aircraft fire. Our brave pilots go in for the kill. It would be nice to get a magazine explosion. Oof, already lost a Dauntless. Seems like the anti-aircraft capability in this little task force is significantly higher than the others. I mean, we've already lost two. All right, one going in. Bombs away. Right on the tower. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. And unfortunately, this is just going to tickle them. Yeah, small hits all around. All right, lost two. One of them was a dud, apparently. All right, let's see if these guys can, the guys can get out of here while surviving. Man, our Avengers are just going to get massacred by themselves. But it's our only chance of stopping this uh, this guy from getting in to the port area. Let's uh, use some time compression. Make sure all of our guys get out of here safely. Indeed, they have. She is fine. Still maintaining that 19 knots. Retreat. Confirm. Minor damage. Yikes. Okay. Well, we shall see. We'll have these guys RTB now. Let's see what happens. We were not able to actually establish contact. We launched our Avengers. We couldn't launch any B-17s or anything. So uh, we're in for another rough night at Port Moresby. We'll see what they knock down. I wonder if they'll knock down the port next. Honestly, the port is pretty low on my priority list here. It's the airfield I want, obviously, because we've been making good use of it. But it's nice to see. Uh, I guess the, their plan is starting to finally pay off here. Our task force is here. Uh, they finally have arrived. Let's get them even closer, but that's going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.